In this video, uh, I want to show you something interesting that happens with the lookup wizard with Microsoft Access. Uh, in this case, I have a simple database. First of all, I have apartment number and tenant name. And you can see it just has uh, the apartment, apartment number and the tenant name. The ID is a primary key. It's also uh, the auto number field. And then we have a current tenant field that's a yes, no field. Then we have another table that's called tenant notes. And I want to be able to have this field over here be a, a lookup. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back into design view. And we're going to pick on the apartment number and tenant name. And then for the data type, we'll go into the lookup wizard. Uh, in this case, uh, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table. So I'll click that and then click on next. The table I want to go to is called apartment number and tenant name. So we'll get that and pick on next. Now uh, we're going to use the ID field and the apartment and tenant name. Might as well sort it by the apartment and tenant name. Now notice how I'm going to hide the key column right there. And I'm going to keep that checked. Uh, so that in the actual display of the table, the apartment and tenant name will display. And then uh, that'll be fine. We'll pick on finish. And we're going to say yes to save this table now. Now it says some data may be lost. You know, uh, it's kind of interesting here. It's going to change the data type from a text field to a number field. And the reason that it does that is you have to look at this other table. You see, it's really, in the actual table, it's going to store the ID field, which is a number field. Uh, so that, that's why this field over here became a number. Uh, let me show you how we're going to deal with that in a query. So I'm going to right-click on uh, the tab here and pick on Datasheet View. See, in the wizard, I made it display the text field, and I hid the, uh, the um, actual number. But really, it's storing the number in the table. Uh, the lookup is just providing that text field right there. Um, but here's the problem. Uh, let me show you a little bit more about this table right now. I'm going to go back to design view. I'm going to pick on that field. And uh, it's really important to look at the lookup tab here. And notice how it is getting the, uh, if I look at the row source, it is getting the, uh, the ID and the apartment name. But look at this uh, information here. It does say two column counts, but notice how the first column width is zero. Uh, so that means it's going to hide the apartment, um, the ID. However, that's really what's being stored in the table. All right. The problem occurs when we start to make a query out of that table. So we're going to go ahead and close that window, and we'll save it. Now I'm going to make a query here. And so I'll pick in the Create menu, and we'll do Query Design. And I'm going to try to uh, use a query between those two tables. So here's Tenant Notes, and then here's the Apartment Name. Now I'm going to pick on Close here. Now uh, actually, because I did the relationship the way I wanted to, um, the, the link is already there. But I'm going to delete these links. within the query. Now, because that, let me let me get rid of this table for a second. I want to pick the, uh, the fields here. You see, even here, it shows the, it's displaying the apartment number and the tenant. But in the table, the actual ID is being stored in that field. Uh, so when I want to make a query to the other table, I'm going to pick on show table here and pick on apartment number and tenant name. Now, it, it kind of brought the uh, relationships over, but I'm going to delete those. If you're going to make that relationship yourself, you would think that they're going to be linked on the apartment number and tenant name and link those two fields together. But that's not really going to work. In fact, uh, this is what the person said to me. I'm going to try to highlight that and try to run that. And it says data type mismatch. That's because this is really a number field in the and now this is really a text field. So actually, you want to make the link between the apartment number and the ID field. And then 
we can pick on the current tennis field from the other table and then it will allow us to run it just fine as we can see. Alright, so the trick with that is when the lookup wizard uh, happened, it actually stored the ID from the other table instead of the text. It's just that the ID is a hidden field. But that's what's being really stored in the other table, and therefore that's what you have to use uh, when you're making a query and you're trying to link back to the second table. So uh, this is a great question that somebody uh, had, and hopefully you can see how to resolve that issue.